here we've come across uh, what looks to be three red rock crabs, but is actually just two. This larger one here is a male, and I can tell because of his really large pinchers and also the behavior of him um, cradling this female. This is what the shell of the female was just uh, earlier, um, and she has recently come out of this. Crabs must molt. Um, or shed their outer skin. So she's pulled her entire body from the tips of her toes all the way from these little antennas, her eye stalks, everything has come out. And now she is swelling with water to be able to um, grow and harden into a larger shell. So she's creating more room for herself inside that shell. Um, and the males, this is the only time that they can fertilize the females. So I can show you on the molt. I would never show you this on the live crab. Um, but on the molt, you can see here her oviducts. Her oviducts are the places where she can get um, fertilized. And then we can also see these swimmerettes, this little piece right here where um, this is where the eggs will be laid and she will um, bulge outward with maybe 30,000 eggs um, and oxygenate them by kind of fluffing this tail flap. And then as those eggs hatch, she'll release them. They'll be planktonic for a while, go through various metamorphoses out in the water until they finally settle out as a little juvenile crab. And the cycle will continue. As they continue to grow, they'll keep molting. Juvenile crabs molt much more frequently than the adult crabs. Um, and as they finally reach maturity, they typically eventually get stuck inside their, their crab molts. Um, and that is how crabs die of old age.